Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever this video finds you, I hope you're having a rad time. I'm the Figure Dude, and on today's episode of Work in Progress Wednesday, I complete the fourth and final member of the Radicals with my Dean Malenko. Without further ado, let's talk about some figures. Dude. Welcome back. Like I said, this is the fourth and final member of the Radicals, and that was a group. So for you, if you're uninformed, if you didn't watch during that time, I understand. Dean Malenko, Perry Saturn, Eddie Guerrero, and Chris Benoit all came over from WCW um, kind of during the Monday Night Wars. And if you go back now, they'll tell you it, it was the a, a massive hop and it made a huge difference. And, you know, they could have treated those guys better um, when they did come over. I thought it was, it was pretty crazy, like, oh my gosh, these WCW guys are here, and they're all fantastic workers, but at that time, it was just, it was a, it was a different time in WWE, um, but I, I thought the group was pretty cool, um, as a kid, I mean, I was very old, I thought, every, I thought everyone was cool, but I've got Dean Malenko, the man of a thousand holds, I've got my decals as always, which are actually the same color as the original Dean Malenko that we got in our elite line but um the head so this head is kind of big um it, it's a jack's head it's a little big I'm okay with that the Mattel head we have is tiny like it's, it's really it's like comically small so uh one day maybe I'll find a happy medium maybe with a head cast or something but I want to go with something a little bit different I'm okay using this head even if it's a little big um Mattel's put out some head scans that are big Jax has put out head scans that are big little there's a wide variety, so with the vest especially, I, it's fine. I mean, I don't know if someone's going to come in and judge my collection. Maybe they won't like it. I'll be happy with it, though. So we have some paint work to do here. Um, the base body I did use was a Champa, and I got that Champa in one of the unboxings. Um, and we are getting more Champa leaves, so I didn't, I didn't feel bad about using this Champa. So he's got the Champa thighs, and then the... Calves are actually from the Owen Hart Elite that I had worked on. It was a Chad Gable body. So I just took those calves and I basically swapped calves. So that Owen Hart that I worked on a while ago has the um, Champa lower legs and this has the Gable lower legs. I just swapped them. So I'm going to have the acetone like the black around the lower calf there. Um, get rid of that. I'm going to put on black boots. And then the crotch piece, I'm going to paint black, and then I'll put the decals over it. Um, the torso is like that Bo, Bo Dallas mold, where it's like a little chubbier. Um, and then the arms, I think, are from an HBK basic. So they're like those skinnier arms, but I think this is a fine um, formula. Dean Malenko, so I don't know if I'm going to paint the head. The head doesn't match perfectly, but... I, I do like the paint job they did on it with the with the shadow. I think this head scan, um, even though it's big, is better than the Elite one we got. Um, the Elite we got of Malenko is really pale, and he's not, like, he's a tan dude. So I like what I have here. I'm excited to paint it up and see how it turns out. But um, like I said, he's the fourth member. He's the last member I need to complete the Radicals, which is a group I did not think I'd be able to have in my Elite collection or basic, really collection at all, just for, obviously, we're not getting any Benoit elites, figures, anything from Mattel, but, like, Perry Saturn, I don't think we're ever going to get any elite Perry Saturn, unless we're really lucky, or it's, like, a Comic Con, I don't know, some weird exclusive, but then, um, we could potentially get that Eddie Guerrero, um, but I said, what the hell, I can't, I'm not going to wait all day, here we go, I have my Malenko, I'll finish things up myself, and when we get back, I will have the full group shot of everyone finished, completed, all that. But sit tight. I'll be right back. All right. Back with the fourth and final member of the Radicals. We have the Man of a Thousand Holds. Not to be confused with the Man of One Thousand and uh, One Holds, I believe. Jericho called himself. Uh, something like that back in WCW. But here is my Dean Malenko. And if you look closely, uh, they are not much different. The set of decals that Curb Stump had was the pink. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is repaint the Elite 
and I'm going to paint it in, um, I'm going to make the pink either light blue or gold. The old Jack's Classic Superstars was gold, um, which is where this head came from. It had, a, it had gold instead of pink, so that's kind of always what I've thought of in my head, but then one of the old Toy Biz heads had the light blue instead of the pink, so uh, I haven't decided quite yet which one I'm going to do, but I am going to repaint the Elite um, just so I have two different attires. The biggest, I mean, obviously the biggest difference is that I used a Jax head, which is significantly bigger than the Elite head. Um, I think the Elite is, the head is really small, um, and I think that the Jax head is big. So if I can find a happy medium between those two, maybe I'll find a head cast um, from somewhere that I can put on both of them, honestly. Um, but really, I'm I'm happy with both. I think that they're both a pretty good likeness. I do like the Jax one, um, and I like my custom a little bit more in the sense that I think that Dean Malenko was a, a tan dude. Like, I always thought he was really tan, and the Elite gave him a pale skin tone. And I didn't paint, paint the, like, white sock on him, um, on mine. So, I mean, that's missing. But Overall, I really like how my custom came out. I think it's a good representation of him, and I don't really have issues with the Elite. I just wish his, his head was a little bigger, and um, I did use a different torso, actually. So this one has, like, the Daniel Bryan, like, torso, which really doesn't fit a lot of guys, I don't think. Um, I feel like this kind of a, a general thing is that people think it's a weird torso, so... I did give Malenko a thicker torso, and like I, I feel like I remember him also having like a bigger head. So I do, like I said, I wish it was a little bigger than the Elite. Um, but here they are both without their vests on, and like you can tell the decal is a little bit different. It's a little smaller, but when you're working with a decal, it to make it big like that would be um, a little harder to work with. So I don't ever have any issues there. But I use the like fatter torso, the Bo Dallas torso on mine, which I like that more. I just, I think that fits Malenko a little better. But that's all I'm going to compare these two. But then I'll get the rest of the Radicals out so we can see the full set in all of their glory. And I do need to heat up the ankles on my, my custom Malenko. They're kind of tight, so it does get a little hard to stand up. But we've got Eddie... We've got Perry Saturn, which I'm still, I'm so impressed with my Perry Saturn. I really like it. He is someone I avoided for a long time because I didn't want to do the tattoos. And then last, we have Benoit. So there we go. We have all four of the Radicals. We need, um, I need to get a Terry to go with Perry Saturn. I would like to start making more women's figures, uh, more women's customs, but... Um, I don't know, Mattel seems to be leaning in more to some of those flashback um, women, and I, I, I wonder what they're going to do, um, because they've mostly just gone back and got, like, the ruthless aggression women, like Tori, Stacy, um, even though Stacy's attire was WCW, um, the Molly Holly, but those, uh, the outfits that the Attitude Era women had might not necessarily be, uh, uh we'll just say retail friendly, so... Who knows? I would I would like to get a Terry, Sable, like Jacqueline. I mean, you name it. Any of those Attitude Era um, women superstars. I, I would love to get from my collection. But if I have to make a custom to go along with Perry Saturn, and if I have to make a, a custom mop for him as well, I'll do it. But I'm glad to have all the Radicals done. It's not necessarily something I thought I was going to do. But then once I did Perry Saturn, I was like, well, damn, I got to I got to finish the whole group. And I love completing groups. I love completing stables and whatnot. So I'm pumped to have all four of these guys on the shelf next to each other. That is going to wrap up Work in Progress Wednesday for today. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. I love talking about figures. I love making videos. I love sharing my customs. And remember, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy figures. Figure Dude, out.